Hello and welcome to a brand new series on our channel, Travel Ontario. We are starting with one of the most popular tourist spots in Ontario, Niagara Falls. As well as, as the funicular car being finishes moving, there may be a slight bit everyone being respectful of the priority seating. We are taking the funicular down to the river, and from there we are getting on the Horn Bubauer uh, boat tour to the falls. Niagara River flows north from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario and forms the border between Canada and the US and the province of Ontario and the state of New York. Niagara Falls is a group of three falls, uh, two are on the American side and one on the Canadian. Combined, they have the highest flow rate of any waterfall in North America and a vertical drop of more than 50 meters or 160 feet. What you see on this photo is the American Falls. And here you see the Canadian side with Skyline Tower. Now back to the American Falls, as you can see this is one big fall and a smaller one way to the far right, which is called Bridal Veil Falls and is separated from the American Falls by Luna Island. And this is the smaller island, uh, the bigger island is Gold Island and that one separates the Bridal Veil Falls from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. Both islands are in the US. Horseshoe Fall, which is the one on the Canadian side, is the most powerful waterfall in North America by flow rate. And this here is the bridge connecting Canada to US. And there are boat tours from the US side as well. Um, Made of the Mist is the boat that uh, departs from the US and they also go to the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. And it is called Horseshoe Falls because it is shaped like a horseshoe. And here we are at the Horseshoe Falls. Approximately 90% of Niagara River flows over the Horseshoe Falls, the remaining 10% flow over the American and Bridal Veil Falls. The boat goes into the Horseshoe and you can really appreciate from that vantage point how big the actual fall is. A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And don't forget the notification button that will notify you anytime we upload awesome videos like this one. Just look how ginormous this fall is. Uh, over 168,000 cubic meters of water flows over the falls every minute. That is 6 million cubic feet. The people you see on the back here with like the little house next to the falls, that is Journey Behind the Falls, another attraction at Niagara Falls and this will feature in our next episode. And as you can see here, you really need the red uh, rain ponchos. Uh, it gets really wet near the falls. Um, actually, even if you are on top, uh, it's, it's raining, so uh, it's even <laughs> worse down there. You get to keep them though, so you keep them as a souvenir. Uh, again, here is the bridge uh, connecting US and uh, Canada. And this is the funicular, which was built between 2017 and 2019 and only became operational the same year, 2019, the same year we were there. The total distance it covers is 56 meters. And it is equivalent to approximately 19 stories. 
if it was an elevator. With this, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for spending the time and I hope I'll see you in our next episode, which again is Journey Behind the Falls. Goodbye.